Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Artillery has four core missions in the modern battle space. Suppression of enemy fires or counter battery fires, striking high value targets, breaking up enemy force concentrations and providing fire support for the maneuver warfare. The border tensions with India and China is nowhere close to end and in fact more aggression is being witnessed in the northeastern sector of LAC. Indian Army at present operates nearly 410 Bofors, 70 M777, 100 K9 Vajra, 180 Sharang, 155 mm artilleries. In total 760 of these guns. Additional 75 M777 and 300 Sharang guns are also in production taking total count to 1135 155mm artillery guns. But is this number sufficient? The answer is no considering the two front war scenarios. India needs more of these guns. They are going to be game changing weapon in the mountainous warfare. We all know that Dhanush which is Desi Bofors gun has been trouble child since its incubation. Since April 2019, with the induction of this gun started, only 12 of them were built which is far below the 18 gun plus 2 in reserve required to make a full regiment. OFB had an initial order of 114 guns to be executed. While the army is satisfied with the guns in terms of firepower and mobility, it has flagged multiple concerns regarding the production quality. Dhanush was being manufactured by gun carriage factory in Madhya Pradesh, Jabalpur, which comes under the erstwhile state-run OFB. After integrated firing checks, issues have cropped with regard to hydraulics, sight and even mounting in some cases. There were three to four instances of muzzle brake hit where the shells has hit the upper part of the barrel instead of flying off. This incident happened when the gun was fired with the zone 6 charge. Charge refers to the quantity of ammunition filled in the artillery shell. The zone 6 charge means that artillery is filled with maximum charge to achieve maximum range. Now the good news coming up regarding this gun is related to its zone 6 charge firing. Dhanush has successfully completed the firing of artilleries with zone 6 charge without hitting the upper part of the barrel. This was the major hurdle which the gun has crossed. However, still have to undergo few more trials to ensure safety and the reliability of the gun. After the corporization of OFP, the manufacturing of Dhanush has come under Advanced Weapons and Equipments of India Limited headquartered in Kanpur. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.